So, hello and good morning. Ako po si uh, Florante Dingle, anak ni uh, Amon Joe. And uh, it's very tough right now. Um, morning is not easy thing to do. But on uh, October 1st, we've lost a very special person so close to my heart and I must say that auntie will be remembered she will be missed and above all she is she was loved and she was a superhero as a mom, as a wife, as a teacher, an educator, she touched a lot of lives um, from the time that she uh, teaches in uh, Ramon Magsaysay High School. And um, just to, uh, to be brief about the, this whole thing, um, my my uh, recollection of auntie was so vivid. I remember when I was just a little boy when uh, they just uh, freshly got married with Uncle Ben. And um, to me, it, it's like uh, a second mom to me because the fact that uh, when they took a vacation in the, in the province, they used to bring me to Luna and uh, you know, we spent the night there uh, and I must say that maybe I was her favorite because <laughs> she, uh, she used to bring me places and um, remember when the first time that we vacationed in the Philippines with my parents and um, I went to, uh, to their house and she was not there and uh, we did not meet at that, at that time but she rushed herself to the airport just to see us, just to see me. And Auntie, like I said, she touched a lot of lives. And not only, not only to me, but to all those people that have uh, went to Manila and study, you know, uh, you guys must know who they are. And I, I don't have to name them one by one. But all the niece, all the nephews that went and lived with her while they were studying in, in Manila, uh, she was the lifeline of, uh, of their studies. And, uh, you know, like I said, she was uh, a second mom to uh, all of us. Um, and. Uh, there, oh, there's always fun memories when, when auntie comes home. Um, I, I used to talk to her a lot. I used to play around her. And, you know, uh, growing up, you know, I look up to her. I, 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 it's like, I wonder what auntie uh, uh, does for work. And, you know, she is a, she is a educator. She was a teacher. And, and that to me that goes a long, long way because it takes a special person to have that kind of heart to be a teacher. And that's her, that's her, that's my auntie. And uh, it makes my heart beat so fast. It makes my heart so uh, alive knowing that um, she touched a lot of lives. Um, and then when she came here in the States with a rigid petitioner, um, she came and, and you know we um, we reconnect once again and and th when there was a party when there's an event of the Dingle Clan, Auntie is part of the the life of the party because she's always have something funny to say and that that really struck my heart how how happy person she was and not only that. Um, Whenever I needed help, 
when mom was uh, ailing and uh, we, we need to go somewhere and uh, I would call her I would call her auntie would you mind coming to our house and accompany mom for a couple days or a few days and without any hesitation she just comes and um, uh, watch mom accompanied mom and she has to uh, feed her she has to give her me me medicine and they just have uh, a lot of uh, time together and she was so willingly give her her life to everybody that I ask and that's who auntie is and um, it, it, it kind of like saddened me not like but it saddened me most because knowing that she's gone I, I would not hear her voice no more I would not uh, hear her her um, jokes anymore but there is one promise that I that uh, that 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 she took from us, and that promise was that I, she trusted God, she trusted Jesus uh, of her life. So, if there's any um, consolation to her passing, that one day, that one day, we will be reunited with her, with our Creator Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Because she willingly gave her life. I've uh, shared her the gospel many times. I've shared the gospel uh, to the uh, to the family when my sister Nida passed away. And um, one of the cousins told me that there is there is there is no excuse that these people here at at this uh, uh, funeral that we did not hear the the good news, the gospel. And Auntie was there, was present. And th that is the consolation that I that, that stays in my heart. Knowing that one day, one day when we get to heaven where we see our loved ones, we will know them by faith that there was uh, uh, that unity that will take place so you know my message is that just like I, like auntie was accepting Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior please find in your heart to know your Creator to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because God's love is very wide is this much she uh, he willingly went to the cross for that love that he wants to give to us so I must say to you that are attending auntie's uh, funeral be ready be ready because Life is not um, that you don't take it by grant by by granted, but take it seriously. Because one day judgment will come, and it's between you and God. And He would ask, "What did you do with my son?" And if you have the right relationship with Him, He would say, "I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior." And you know what? That is the guarantee that one day we will see our loved one in heaven. So, dying is not the end. But dying is an opportunity to get to heaven. It's, it's the door to heaven. So, I must say, to trust Jesus Christ with your life. Don't trust it with other things that it could rot here on earth, but trust Him, Him alone. Amen? And it's not the end, like I said. It's not the end. But 
is the beginning because he, earth is not our home. We are not home yet. Thank you and God bless you. May the Lord Jesus Christ dwell in your heart now and forevermore. Amen.